everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades. Uh, hopefully my microphone is a little bit better today. I had, did not have it facing me last time I did my video. So again, a lot of people probably didn't hear uh, what I had to say, but hopefully the sound quality is good now. Uh, let's dive right into the analysis. So uh, as you guys can probably tell, we had a bit of a down day today in the SPY, but rallied into the close anticipations for nvidia earnings and boy oh boy are we popping off in the after hours we are we are up almost an entire i think an entire percentage points on the triple q's you can't see right now because uh, the market's been closed for quite a bit of time but right now the triple q's are showing about uh 1.02 to 1.08 percent gain in the after hours around 4:30. uh could we have technically truncated uh this drop here uh, and we are not going to go test uh, the 420 to 411 levels on the triple Qs. Yeah, it's possible. It's always possible. You know, we're in a very bullish market. Everyone's buying the dips. You know, they just can't wait to get in. So they keep nonstop piling into the market. So, yeah, it could technically mean that uh, we are, uh, are going to gap open tomorrow and we're going to keep pushing higher. But again, until we take out this pivot here, we have a technical, uh, you know, we have we have we have a technical high in place, uh, but until then, you know, I mean, technically every every uh, every all time high becomes a technical high after that. But uh, we'd be looking for a buy zone at 420 to 411, and that would be from the ABC correction here. Same thing on the spy. A uh, spy had to reach 490 to 481, but unfortunately, we truncated. And we, you know, we might not even get, get there. And I, actually, this is not even an ABC at the moment because it hasn't even taken out the A wave pivot. So we need to, we actually do need to go lower. So even if we gap open tomorrow and then we continue to push down lower, it, it, that would mean that the C leg is still in. But if we gap open and we continue to push higher, it could mean that the A B wave is still in and we're going to do an overshooting B wave uh, to continue down lower uh, later on in, into the into the month but we'll, we'll have to see i mean nvidia earnings is having a, a massive impact on the market right now and we are getting a huge move in the after hours we are up over i believe 11 percent in the after hours if i'm not mistaken 11 or 8 percent something like that i think smci is up 11 percent but this is going to get a nice pop in the at the open tomorrow and we'll have to see how we're going to trade it uh, because we could still be in this wave four or is it trunk is or is it ending earlier and this is a very shallow wave four and we're just going to continue on to wave five everyone seems very confident that we're just going to keep pumping higher uh and again it's they've had amazing earnings right they beat on earnings on eps and on revenue so it would it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me that we take out this pivot and we would continue to push on higher but could we do something like this a with a b even an overshooting b wave and then come back down into c later on yeah, you could rip rip it higher and then rip it down later. That's a that's a, a, a similar a pattern that we actually uh, see pretty often in Elliott Wave. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Could it do a normal AB? Yeah, I mean, if you even if you gap open tomorrow up eight uh, percent, you're still gonna be underneath the all-time high, I believe. Eight percent would be, uh, yeah, right around seven twenty-nine. The all-time high, you'd have to pump ten percent or more, which is not. It's not asking too much given the the earnings report that we just got uh let's take a look here at uh, some other individual names and we'll take a look at the spy too uh on market cipher so we'll take a look at the daily time frame so on the daily time frame it was showing a significant amount of bearishness uh you know we got some red dots markets were rolling over now everything has started to shift already on the daily time frame you've shifted back to bullish momentum on the weekly time frame you are still printing a red dot on the weekly candle right now so you still have about two days for this to confirm if this confirms then yeah maybe we have a potential uh, top coming up here and we are going to be rolling over in a bigger bigger pattern but uh for the time being you know things remain bullish and you guys following the trend i mean you've been you've been rewarded and uh, i mean it, the, the thing to know is to when to exit right when is the trend gonna gonna finish and right now we're printing a red dot. And if this confirms that we could, it could very well mark a top. Daily time frame, we are getting, <laughs> we've been getting a lot of selling here on Wave Edge, on the SPY. Let's take a look at the futures here. Okay, nothing new, nothing really new on the daily time frame. 
Yeah, I mean, we've been following this for quite a bit of time, and now we printed a green cross on today's drop, and we're popping up after hours as well. So, I mean, I, I would expect that the markets uh, uh, can take out this pivot, but if they can't, then be, be, be very cautious. You know, this was a very <laughs> extended run, and we've seen essentially no pullback since then. So, you could be getting ready for a bigger pullback, something like I've been showing in NVIDIA and in the SPY as well. Uh, but the SPY, the, the, the downside could be limited. Um, to whatever I, I illustrated here. If we do take out these these support levels here, then you should you want to be careful. You really want to be careful because it, it could mean that uh, you know we may have a bigger correction coming up than just this little correction that I have illustrated here. All right, let's take a look at Roku. We'll start off with Roku. We always love to do Roku. It's been getting slaughtered these last couple trading days. Or last three basically this entire week it's been getting killed um and last week as well on earnings but right now it's trading right around 63 dollars and 90 cents it's getting into some extreme oversold conditions on the shorter time frames four hour one hour and the 45 minutes uh daily time frame as well i mean you are in the buy zone right now this is technically the buy area for roku if you are going to stop out of the trade if you cross below 57 and 32 cents, that's when you stop out and you move on and you look for a better opportunity in the market. But again, the risk risk reward setup is there for Roku. It's been beaten down. It's gone to hell. Uh, but again, it will follow the tech sector. And as you guys can probably tell, the tech sector was very beat up today uh, on the FOMC minutes. So, I mean, I'm not too surprised that uh, it's, it keeps getting pushed down lower as well. Uh, let's take a look at another individual name that we take a look a lot at is Tesla. So Tesla has been getting rejected uh, from or sell area and it's it's possibly making the, uh, getting into its wave three here. So if this is the wave three for Tesla or are we still in the wave two? We could be still in the wave two, which would be uh, a, a deeper a deeper pullback. And then you come back down in a three wave move. And then, then that should finish the correction for Tesla right around this area. Let's take a look at Starbucks. Starbucks, I think, had a very nice day today. It's been bouncing back up. You could be, you could be starting to impulse out of this finally, right? And if you are impulsing out, then you should keep going. And if you, if you're gonna keep going, your target's 102. And it's been 102 since, you know, I don't know how long we've, been, how long have we been looking at this since like December? So I mean, that's that's been our target since then, since the correction started. And that should be your ABC correction finishing up if you can get to these levels. Okay, let's take a look at some something else here. I think we have a, a lot of stuff to take a look at. We let's take a look at the TLT. We know TLT FOMC minutes today. TLT had a bit of a down day, and I think the TLT might still have some more downside until we get to this area here between 91 and 86. And I know it's a big range, but again, sometimes you just touch the range and you keep on pumping after that. Uh, afterwards right you know you touch it and like the spy did and then you just reverse out of it sometimes you can go for deeper corrections like roku and that's why you got you don't put all your eggs in one basket you don't you don't go all in, you don't go all in on the trade you take it slowly uh we'll take a look at unity software another another name here so again like i said in yesterday's video if you're looking to get back into this trade here uh i mean if you were looking to buy into to unity software on the pivot uh, then you had a pivot to trade against. So if you cross below this, then you, you stop out. That's it. You move on. You move on to something else, something better for you to make uh, yourself some money on, right? So again, this one looks like it it could be going for a deeper correction as well. Extended C leg. And again, wave twos are notorious for getting very deep pullbacks. So for if this is your wave two, I wouldn't be surprised that it does something like Roku and it tries to go all the way to the bottom here around 27 uh, to you know 27 to 20 dollars it's very very possible right you could be you know one two three four and five right you could you could technically keep going so we'll have to see we'll have to see right now it's still it's it could be coming back down to touch this down so big trend line um <clears throat> i think we've covered a lot of stuff so again in, in video i'll just recap very quickly uh if it truncates and it finishes uh, early, you know, I, I don't see any ABC right now. I don't see any ABC for me to call this an ABC. I would need to see either a pop higher with a failure and then uh, you'll you'll come back and rip down lower. Uh, but if you do that, 
just know that once that that does happen uh, you're going to extend the the uh the buy zone the buy zone is going to come up higher the buy zone is going to come up to like 660 to 572 right now i have it down here at uh, what is this uh 593 to 641 but we're probably not going to get that tomorrow with the the earnings report that we just got um all right let's take a look at natural gas and oil uh not gas i mean we'll start off with oil probably the most boring one right now not really doing anything it is building you know i would say some consolidation right around the 78 to 79 dollar level if it's able to get above it and you get daily candle closes then this is your wave three target and you should get up to there pretty darn quick now looking at natural gas natural gas is getting a massive pop off the lows i mean it's in it's been how many trading days in a row since we've had red candles one two three four five six seven eight nine nine days in a row again i guess this one was green but nine days in a row you know you were due for a pop and what a pop this was this was like a nine to fifteen percent move in two days um, <clears throat> I would be looking for an ABC correction in natural gas back to potentially $2, uh, retest this as resistance. And then you can go for that final low. Is this going to be a capitulation low? Are we going to go negative? We'll have to see. We'll take it day by day. All right, let's take a look here at the dollar and the yield. So the yields is and the TLT is the same thing. Uh, you saw the 20 year yield spike up into the zone once again. And getting, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say selling pressure because you don't sell yields. You sell the bonds or you buy the bonds. So obviously if the yields are coming down, uh, the bond prices are going up. Uh, so this right here, you could see that so you got you got a lot of buying. You got a lot of buying coming into the yields here. Uh, once you're getting into this to these levels uh, uh, on the percentages. So between 4 point, uh, what do I have here? 4.6 to 4.8. You're seeing a lot of funds, a lot of, a lot of banks or institutions or retail. They're just piling in. They're just piling in, into the into the twenty year yields. They just want it, and you know, rightfully so, because if they're gonna cut rates, then this this thing's gonna tank. All right. Um, I think uh, that's about it for now. I don't really have much to add. Uh, well, actually, we'll take a look at the IWM. We haven't covered the IWM in quite a bit of time. Uh, the IWM. Uh, I would sorry not a not a, not a quite a bit of time we covered it we covered it all the time, uh, but to me this looks like this pattern has failed now. I think I had an ABC uh, correction drawn, or we are we could be technically still in still in the uh, actually no no never mind because now that I look at it, this has taken out the high, impulse off the lows. This could be a complicated it could be a more complex correction technically yeah it could be with an overshooting B wave. Uh, but uh, one, two, three, I, I mean, I can't make five wave moves. I can't make five waves out of that. So the IWM is a little bit complicated now. Um, I, if anything, we're going to be doing this, but at the same time, it would be an even deeper correction into another two, right? And then you got your buy area down here from the previous wave too. But you should be bullish the the Russell because I mean the rest right now if if anything because the Russell needs to catch up to the rest of the indices if we're actually gonna go off for that blow off top scenario if not and we end lower and the the X wave or sorry the B wave or the X wave finishes earlier then that's it that's it the Russell's just gonna fall apart and you're gonna keep rolling over but again February is a historically very bearish very bearish month uh, the last two weeks are very bearish for the market. And uh, March and April should be should be better for the market. So if we push up from there, we'll push up from there. If not, then <laughs> we're going to start to roll over in a pretty dramatic fashion. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. If you guys enjoyed the content and you want me to take a look at some ticker symbols you guys are, I keep uh, <laughs> pondering over, then leave, it in the, leave them in the description. I'll be more than happy to, to take a look at them for you guys. Peace.